On August 19, 2009, the 3,000 students at Hinsdale Central High School entered the building not knowing what to expect. Hinsdale Central has always taken a collegiate approach when drafting a TARDI policy. This accountability has helped students develop into responsible members of a learning community. This year, however, Central has taken a new approach when dealing with tardiness. The, um, the policy is to get to class on time. If you're unexcused or if you're late to class, you have to get a pass. The Dean's Office will deal with all tardies from zero through infinity. And we will issue the consequences, we will write the referral, we will deal with the students. It's been, the responsibility for administering tardies has been removed from the teachers. Teachers no longer have to be held to do that. Um, it's taken off their plate. Is all we ask for teachers to do is close their door when the bell rings and not let a student into their class without pass. But does this policy actually work? If the goal of the tardy policy is to get kids to class, then Hinsdale Central has a problem. This policy is counterproductive and makes students later to class. Uh, I don't, I'm not sold that it's necessary. I think we had a policy in place and teachers could enforce it or choose not to enforce it. I'm not sure we needed an additional policy. What happens when a student is less than 15 feet away from their classroom? What happens if a student needs to go to the bathroom? Or say to talk to a teacher? Or drop something off at guidance? And I was walking through the hallways and I was just coming around the corner where my teacher was and I look at her and I kind of wave so she knows that I'm going to be there on time and she kind of smiles and then closes the door and I end up missing more of that class. And I lost five points in my class because I, I couldn't do the starter. So I got a zero out of five on assignment because yeah. I was three seconds late. Really late, tardy stations were overcrowded, booked. I uh, couldn't get to class, missed the assignment. Taking a test actually, and then I was taking a test in my study hall. And so I, I don't know, I guess I had to, I was talking to my teacher for like one minute. Uh, one, I don't know, some guys told me, asked me if I would pass, I didn't. And they told me to go walk all the way down here, which is pretty far from the gym. So now I'm going to be like 10 minutes late instead of being like a minute late. So I no longer have the discretion that I used to have as a teacher. So there were times in the past where I would, you know, if a kid got here and it was 10 seconds late, it was not a problem, the kid got to work right away, not an issue. I don't have that discretion anymore. If a kid walks in tardy, I am to follow the procedures the school has laid out, so that kid's to go get a tardy pass. One of the main issues with the tardy policy is that students cannot find the stations. According to a student survey, 83% of people do not know where to find a station. This is detrimental because if the students don't know where the stations are, no, they miss fine. more valuable class time. According to the same survey, 80% of people have missed between 5 and 15 minutes of class as a result of a tardy station. Time is one of the most valuable resources here at Central. It's a pressing issue, and the policy has a negative presence around the school. Hinsdale Central High School's newspaper, The Devil's Advocate, recently came out with an article about this exact issue. Drew Soros, journalist for The Advocate, reported that the system was archaic and inefficient. He continued to explain that students are simply a victim of circumstance, meaning that students barely have enough time to talk to teachers or stay after class. God forbid a student needs to use the restroom. Everyone's always racing to beat the bell. The tardy policy is inefficient because it wastes more of the students' class time. We miss quizzes. We miss test reviews. We miss homework answers. Bottom line is, we need a change. And you can make that happen. <laughs> My advice, um, riot. Let's, let's riot against the tardy policy. We all must come together. We can fight it. Overthrow them. We can do it. We can do it. Woo!